Often when we're surveying, we'll encounter objects or features that are a little difficult to describe in a nice, concise feature code or description. And uh, for those types of situations, it's really great to be able to take a photograph. Fortunately, many of the Trimble data collectors are equipped with a built-in camera. Unfortunately, we sometimes tend to forget that. So the purpose of this video is to just show you how to use the camera in the TSC-7 data collector and how to apply those photographs to a measured point. So in this situation, I've got a, what is a traditional curb and gutter arrangement and uh, which kind of flares out into a drainage swale. So we're gonna go ahead and take a couple of topo shots on here, uh, we'll get a job going, and then we're gonna use the camera to uh, attach those photos to our shots. So uh, let me just go ahead and finish getting my job together here. So I've got a job that I kind of typed in, so let me accept that. Um, I'm gonna be getting corrections from a real-time network, so let me go ahead and start our measurements here. So I'm gonna go in the measure routine, and I'm gonna go ahead and get connected to my base station. So give me just a moment here. Let me give that just a moment to dial itself in, and let's go ahead and accept that base station. So we'll give it a moment to get a fixed solution. Waiting for information from the base. And hopefully we'll get our good solution in just a moment here. So, all right, so I'm looking at my RTK solution. Everything looks good. I want to go ahead and put in a starting point number of 1,000. And I'll put in a code, uh, why don't I just go ahead and put in like TC for top of curb. We're going to kind of keep it simple here. And uh, so I'm going to go ahead and just take a simple top of curb measurement. So I'm going to go ahead and plumb up at the top face of curb. And I'm just going to go ahead and measure that point. So we'll give that just a moment and we'll go ahead and store that and uh, that point is in. So next, I'm gonna go ahead and just move up to where that curb begins to flare. And so let me plumb up. And this is one where I might wanna take a photograph to embellish that. So I'm gonna top a curb, at taper, I'm just kind of spelling this out right now. But let me enter that. We'll measure it up. And then I'll go ahead and store that. So I think what I'm going to do here, though, is I'm just going to go ahead and lean back my rover pole. And now I'm going to go ahead and take a picture. So on the TSC-7, the way that I do that is I'm going to go ahead and hit the yellow function key. And the camera button is a shared key on the number 9. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and bring up the camera. Now the TSC-7 has a forward-facing camera and a rear-facing camera. Um, you can toggle back and forth between those. I do have the correct camera selected right now. But why don't I just back up a little bit and I'm gonna go ahead and move till I kind of see a view that looks satisfactory to me. And then to take that photograph, I'm just gonna go ahead and hit the little square button underneath the function keys at the top of the keyboard. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. and when I do, you'll see a little thumbnail image captured in the lower right. So to go ahead and save that and link that to my previously collected point, all I really need to do is exit out of this routine by hitting the X in the upper right. So let me do that. And you'll see that the software wants to link that to the previous point. Um, there's a couple check boxes that you can choose to, to, to select or not select. I've got to, gone ahead and selected them on, but I'm going to go ahead and accept that. Why don't I go ahead and I'm going to take another shot a little farther down. And on the next shot, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take not just one photograph, but several photographs and link those to the point. So let me go ahead and uh, I'm going to go ahead and do this and I'm going to say TC at EP for the edge of paving and let me hit enter and we're going to take that measurement so we're going to go ahead and measure it give that a moment we'll store that measurement 
observation stored. And then I'm just going to go ahead and lean my pole back so it doesn't tip over. And let's go ahead and we're going to take a couple of photographs here. So again, the function key and the number nine. That's going to bring up that camera. So I'm going to go ahead, shoot it from this direction. You can see the thumbnail got stored in the lower right. It's being held in a buffer. I'm just going to go ahead and move around to the other side. Maybe show a little bit different picture of where that shot's being taken. So I hit my button, so that's being held in a buffer. And then maybe I'll even take a third photograph from a different angle. So presumably this is going to help the guys in the office get a better idea of what's going on without having to write a big description and, and record a ton of field notes. So I've taken three photographs. I'm going to go ahead and exit out of this by hitting that X in the upper right. And again, it's asked me if I want to link that to the previous point. I could choose other options as well. And take a quick look at those. But previous point usually works for me. So I'm going to go ahead and accept the first one. I'll accept the second one. And I'll accept the third one. Now later when I copy this data to a USB flash drive or copy it to my computer, I'll be able to inspect those JPEG images and I'll also be able to import those into a Trimble Business Center project. Um, since these are real world coordinates, if I choose to, I can also choose to bring those up in a Google Earth image, in which case those images will show up in, uh, as thumbnails in Google Earth. So kind of a convenient thing. But hopefully that uh, has given you an idea of how to take those photographs. And a little later, we'll take a look at what those look like in the office. So hope that helps for now, and we'll see you next time.